The MMA community and UFC fighters have given me so much that it's time I return the favor. I've recently started a series called Giving UFC Fighters Fatherly Advice or UFC Stepdad Rants, whatever you want to call it. The first episode, I basically broke down the rules for what I would do if I was Peyton Talbot's stepdaddy. And today, we are going to be answering the question, what would I do if Raul Rosas Jr. was my mijo? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Where are the Mexicans at? Where are my Mexicans at? What would I do if Raul was my mijo? I would feel overwhelming pride and happiness because he is a perfect son, especially when you compare him to some fighters like Peyton Talbot. Raul, being 20 years old, has it absolutely screwed in to these guys who are in their late 20s like Peyton or even approaching 30 like Sean O'Malley. He's an absolutely goaded mijo and we're going to prove why in the build up to UFC Noche because I'm hyped to see RRJ perform again. Raul has a great sense of humor first and foremost. He doesn't take UFC fans making memes about him and get butt hurt like other fighters. I don't really like a lot of the MMA fan base. I, just, I think it's hard for people when they see somebody that they can't box in. They just like come up with a word that they feel like they can box them into. A lot of times that's like gay. Like he's he's a gay dude or he's zesty. Basically, this video is contrasting Raul Jr. Junior to Peyton Talbot. Peyton Talbot cries and whines if a fan calls him zesty or says, why do you wear mesh crop tops? Raul Jr. Junior laughs if you call him retarded. <laughs> kid is also guilt tripping Dana White into giving him bonuses to buy his mom a house. I'm 19 years old now. I want to buy my mother a house like I promised her when I started this career at four years old. So Dana, 100 G's, baby. That's the perfect son. Because first of all, you also know that he is using his money and his paychecks to help his family. <laughs> His family immigrated from a very, very poor suburb of Mexico City and then came to the New Mexico first where our real sister Jr. was actually born. They ended up going back to Mexico, you know what I mean, because of visa or work issues, whatever it was. And then they ended up coming back, I believe, to California or maybe they went to New Mexico and then California again. Point being, they have struggled from the bottom of the favelas of Mexico and now they have given their kid and struggled for their son and now their son is giving back to them. That's a great, great son at the end of the day. And he truly does embody those Chicano Catholic values. And why else does Raul Rosas Jr. mog Peyton Talbot? Because he goes to church. He loves Catholicism. He loves Jesus. He loves God. He loves La Virgin. Okay? He is a great Catholic Chicano and a great person to represent the sport of MMA. Contrast that with Peyton Talbot, black sun tattoos representing the abyss, crossing the abyss, Crowley and butt magic, and then also devil tattoos, selling merchandise to his like Zoomer Alpha, Gen Alpha audience with like demon grip tape and demon shirts and stuff like that. Rorosis Jr. praying in the church, okay? They are not the same. Let's compare Barrosis Jr.'s clothing to that of Peyton Talbot. He dresses like a man. And as he's starting to make more money, he's starting to buy man clothes, like suits, nice jackets. And obviously, he's a younger guy, so he'll buy, like, kind of the fashionable stuff. Nothing wrong with that. He dresses like a classy Chicano, in my personal opinion, Chicano youth. And... He gets his hair trimmed up in front of UFC Noche. He's doing promo for the company that has changed his life. Peyton Talbot pirates UFC pay-per-views. He can't spend 
60 bucks out of the five figure purse he gets from the UFC to buy the pay per view and then brags about streaming it on Ariel. No pirating anything in my house. No that in my house. Where'd you go? I went back to the Airbnb, streamed the rest of the fights, <laughs> and then we went and saw Cascade. And then he can't spend a couple grand on some nice clothes and a suit. He's walking around in thrifted crop tops and, you know, booty shorts, all right? They are not the same. I just knew I had to let them hands fly, so I did. Woo! Rose's Jr., also based wrestler, grapple graper, Chin mugger. We all remember when Rosas Jr.'s inbred chin defended a rear naked choke. All right. Then we have Peyton Talbot. Oh, oh, I have to black out before I can even throw a combination like in his UFC debut, right? Rosas Jr.'s running through these MFers, choking them out in the first round. Yeah, sure, he lost the C-Rod, but whatever, who cares? I'm calling it right now. 142 pound C-Rod beats the crap out of Peyton Talbot, and I honestly think Raul Rosas Jr. would ragdoll him. No way that chin bread is getting knocked out by Peyton Talbot. He's just going to be diving for legs and grapple graping. I prefer a grapple graper over a striker. Call me crazy, but I'm watching MMA, not kickboxing. So at the end of the day, I would be immensely proud to call Raul Rosas mijo. I hope I made y'all proud today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you want to see more UFC fatherly advice videos, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on so you don't miss a single thing. So the Pharisees are on me, they're behind me, they're throwing stones at me right now. We got to dip, we got to get out of here right now. Demon possessed man on my right, I'm praying over him right now. He's cracked, he's cracked. I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thanks to my Lion Tier members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Dime papi Dime mami